ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Hedgehog 2010 returns you with episode 21 of Let's Play Star Fox Adventures for Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we have just rescued the uh, baby Cloud Runners and opened up a gate. In this episode, however, we are going to risk ourselves by getting that buff and dad. There we go. <laughs> But no, uh, in this episode we're gonna try to take the fight to general scales and get the second spell stone. Hell yeah. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Da -da -do -da -do -da -do -do. Bomb. And die, uh, thank you. Now, okay, so, we can't do anything in here because, well, for one thing, let's turn that switch off. Then, we have to get out our, um, firefly lamp out. And we have to take the bomb. So that's one thing that we need to do here. Yeah, I know, it's such a chore. You know, I much prefer Walled City over this. No, seriously, I really do. I don't really like Cloud Runner Fortress at all. I don't know how many times I have to say it I, I just don't like it all right so anyway put on your sharp claw disguise pick up this bomb and run on over here or I thought we have to yeah we do erm um, hermy dermy Well, I know I'm supposed to take it somewhere. Uh, oh wait, yeah, okay, I remember. We're supposed to take the bomb. And take it over here. Here we go. Then we use the firefly to navigate through this dark corridor. Find a crack in the wall, throw the bomb, and we're ready to go. And there we go, we're at the boss of Cloud Runner Fortress. Hope you're ready for that. Okay, so. <clears throat> Sorry, I was checking something. Now. Before we do anything here, let's go ahead and stock up on our magic and cue cutscene. Scales! Get the spell stone out of here! That's a nice belt. Alright, so what you're supposed to do in this... Yeah, so much for a boss battle, huh? We're supposed to chase down the second spellstone here. And the only way to do that is if we get ahead of these sharp claws and destroy every single one of these guys. Yeah. Except the catch in this race is, you see that uh, meter down there? That's that's its fuel. 
if you um, pass one of the directional arrows pads like this right here it will refill your fuel only for a slight bit um, I don't find this uh, boss to be particularly um, hard at all it's uh, it's kind of like a breath of fresh air of what's to come honestly all right so that's one sharp claw let's see if we can get the other two Remember, if you hit one of those canisters that fall on the ground, like those, you will lose fuel, so, um, keep that in mind. Alright, so we got the Spellstone. And that's it. Easy. Well done, Fox. You now have the second spellstone. And with scales gone, my tribe can now start to rebuild their lives. I am forever grateful. Don't forget, as soon as you get back to the surface, you need to find the Ocean Force Point Temple. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we are done here at Cloudrunner Fortress. And I will meet you back in um, Forntail Hollow. So, yeah. Actually, no, wait. I forgot. There's always like a dialogue they say when we uh, choose uh, planets. So, yeah. Enjoy. And I will see you in a bit. You did it again, Fox! The fortress is back in control of the Cloud Runners. You must take this spell stone to the Ocean Fourth Point Temple. It must be located near to the sea. Have you been anywhere like that yet, Fox? When you get back to the planet, contact Peppy for further details. Pepper out! Alright, so here we are back in Forntail Hollow. We got our um, second spell stone, and we're supposed to take this blue colored spell stone to a place that is filled with ocean. I can only think of one particular area of where that might be. So let's go to Cape Claw, shall we? That sounds like a splendiferous idea, and actually, I prefer to. Actually, no, wait. Fuck, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This is the part where you'll have to memorize where to go because you're going to be going through here at least one more time when you get the same colored spellstone. Um, Lightfoot Village, which we'll be coming up to in a minute here. Uh, we won't have to go here ever again anytime soon. I mean, I would like to try and see if I can get the pieces of what we need in Lightfoot Village to get our, um, third Crizoa Spirit, but... I don't know. Maybe I just won't take that chance. I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. So, how are you guys today? I guess I'm alright. Just enjoying my last day off until I go back to work on Monday, which is tomorrow. And I'm just going the wrong way today. I feel like a dumbass. Alright. So now let's go to Cape Claw. We're almost there. So, um, I finished all the recordings of uh, me and my friend going through um, co-op adventure on Kirby's Return to Dreamland for the Wii. Um, stocking up on how many edits it will take. I think there will be like 32 episodes max plus the 
extras, so... You know, let's just say I'll be taking a little break once uh, this uh, LP is over because I already got all of my next project already lined up. Regardless, I'll still do the weekend project, but yeah. So here we are, Cape Claw. And something's going on here. Not in the mood to fight you, sir. Just leave me alone. Oh, hey, it's a Lightfoot tribe member. Let's go ahead and help him out. Looks like he doesn't know what to do with a stick. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, cue cutscene. Hey, you stay away, you stinking fireball, or me smash you good. What? But I just saved you. Me trust no one. Sharpclaw say I steal their things, but they stinking liars! Me get out of this place! Adios! <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so now we have the item called the fire gem, which we will use to go into this uh, this uh, Ocean Force Point Temple, which is located over here in that big Krizoa head. So, um, yeah, we will get to that in the next episode. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Blue Hedgehog 2010, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day.